This is my Hubson H107D. It has a wide uh, 0 0.67 times macro lens. I also got about 6 500 mAh batteries for longer flights. And also some extra batteries that are like smaller. I was just testing them out. So. And then my chargers and multiple cords. This one, the green one charges 6 at a time. This one charges five, or actually charges four, and then this one charges two. Here's the remote for the Hubson. Uh, I actually modified it a tiny bit. Uh, I did two modifications. The first one is I took the antenna out of the box, just, I don't know. I thought it would give it a better signal. It actually does, so. Uh, about, it makes the video a lot clearer, so I can fly inside a lot better. Also on the back here, it tends to suck up batteries a lot, so. I decided to get rid of the batteries and I just soldered two wires to the inside and brought them to the outside and used two actual like regular ups and batteries. They're actually these ones right here. So yeah, another mod to make it fly farther away from you is you can actually take the antenna and instead of it having like horizontal if you stick it straight out with a zip tie and then zip tie to it, it'll let you go farther and higher with better connection to the remote, but uh, it's really hard to land and it's very unstable in the air when you do that. I also have two 32 gigabyte flash drives. These are from my uh, other drone, but I use them for this all the time because I can just record the video onto the remote. With the drone, I would recommend that you buy more propellers because these things fly off like every single time you crash and then you lose them and you don't like have one of them so I'd buy an extra set of propellers. Another thing you might need is I'd make sure you have a hot glue gun. What I did is I just melted 3D printer plastic over this little magnet thing so that I can actually get it to stick over the camera but it's not the best because the image quality isn't that good when I put on the macro lens now but you have to put this little metal thing on there so that the macro lens will stick to it and uh, yeah it's hard to get it on there without some type of glue or something and I had to move this stuff around where if I had to cut it up a little bit in the front you wouldn't have to do that if you had something like hot glue Here's the image with the macro lens on. Here's the image with the macro lens off. So, right now I have the macro lens on, and I'll show you a few tricks. So, in order, usually during the day, like to save battery, a little bit of battery, I'll turn the LEDs off, and also to make the picture better on the camera, what you do is you hold down this button right here, and that turns them on. See? Do it again, back on, and uh, okay, another trick is if you want to access the menu to do so, configure it, hold down. This stick right here, you press it and you hold it down. 5.8G frequency. You do that, this will increase the like quality on your screen for connection. And you change this to the lowest number possible. So let's say usually they start at 5745. If you can see that. What you want to do, what helped me is I just went all the way down and it gave me better connection. 